Oh, there's fire charges now. Of course there's fire charges now. Welcome to World in Progress, a long-term, building-focused, survival let's play in my original vanilla Minecraft world. I'm excited to really stretch my building muscles and create a beautiful world in the place where it all started. Oh, my friends, I am so ready to tackle this part of our world and make it gorgeous and pretty and also livable. Uh oh, yeah, things are a mess around here, that is for sure. So this area, our kind of original spawn uh, savanna area is, oh dear, oh dear. This is going to be our very like rural farming community kind of area. So we need to expand our fields. We need fields all over this area. There's a cave underneath this. I remember that. That's gross. I don't like that. Anyways, let's finish making this pathway walkable. Oh my lord. I definitely want to keep this, but I want to change it up so that it looks nicer. And, well, it's a pretty big thing. If we make kind of a greenhouse situation, I think I think that might be the ticket with this particular, because it needs a glass roof. Whatever we put around it needs a glass roof so that the daylight detectors can, you know, detect daylight. Uh, the, this, the storage system needs to be run into crafters, which we haven't actually made yet, but I'm very excited to use. And I want to use white glass. White glass is best glass. All right, it is time. Now we should have everything that we need. Um, I think we need two, we're gonna need at least two crafters. Um, oh right, I need, I need crafting tables as well. There it is. All right, let's make this recipe. Oh, I don't have enough iron for more than one. We're just gonna set up some automatic crafting right here and see what happens. I know, I know this is a building series and I promise we will continue building. Um, soon, shortly. Um, actually wait, that's not where we need the hopper. So the crafter is going to well, let's set it down. I think this is the side that items come flying out of. Okay, it's a pickaxe. There we go. So now it's facing into the barrel and it should just drop items into there. And then if we put a hopper with, you know, the, the original items in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do observer there, observer at the sticky piston, and then boom, boom. There we go. Um, the, the last thing we need is another comparator. All right, so now that should be a redstone level of eight running into here. So once the crafter hits a level of nine, when all of the slots are filled, uh, the comparator is going to trigger the piston, make the observers go burr. Excellent! Excellent! Did you see that? We don't even have to make this situation be a thing. And look at it go! Look at it go! So we didn't, we, I don't think we need the observer situation. We could do this, you know, just fine with like a repeater. I betcha our Minecraft situation, or our minecart situation here is kind of terrible. Oh no, it's not. Okay, okay, cool. Excellent. Alrighty, then, since that is actually better than I thought, we're gonna actually start doing some building, you know? The thing that we're, we're trying to do in this series. Something tells me it's time to go to an ancient city. I need Swift Snake. <laughs> Alright, so then that's our, our bottom layer. And now we need to terraform around it. And at 
actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I want to go ahead and also add a little bit of shape. So if we have a little bit of an outcrop in here, I think that's really cute. I think that's a good shape. All right, and now we need to build up the terrain around this. Actually, ooh, 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 the wheels are turning. What if instead of, you know, bringing the terrain up beneath this, we brought this down to meet the terrain? Now, oh goodness, my sugar box scared me. Oh my goodness. Anyways, when they come out, they'll get burned by the sun. I'm gonna have to light that cave up eventually. But we're gonna pretend for today that it doesn't exist. It's not a problem if we don't think of it as a problem, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little tower over on the other side. And that's where the, the cactus farm will live its final days. Okay, so the next thing is that we're going to make really tall windows. And they're gonna start right there. I'm gonna do a tower on this end, which means that if we do, you know, maybe, boom, one, two. Two. Yeah, just a little tiny curve in the house. And so we should be able to do one, one, one. There we go. So that end of, of the house, I keep thinking the cows are pillagers. That end of the house will look like, like a so. And then there will be a tower up above. I like this start. I like this. Okay. So then... We are going to need more smooth sandstone. Ah. And that'll be our front door. Perfect. Okay. So then we'll just have to slightly modify the pathing through here. Nice. From here, what I need to do is I need to put in some flooring. And I basically just need to build up these walls to full height. Um. So I'm going to do that since it's nothing to do with, like, thinking or designing or anything. Just, just placing blocks. And I'll bring you back when I'm done, just placing blocks. All right, I think we're at the point now where we can start working on our roof. So let's take a look at what it looks like at the moment. Now that I've kind of built up the walls and this little front bit. Um, yeah, it's not super fancy yet, but I like where it's going. I like the shapes we've got going on. I like the colors and the contrasts. It's looking really nice. The first thing is I want to put down dark oak stairs, and we're going to do a stair-based roof, I think. Oh, I just realized, because I think the piston sound update has happened, and they are so much quieter. I actually, I like that, because you can hear them when you're up or at least for this machine. You can hear them when you're up close, but it's not like overwhelmingly loud and gets quiet farther away pretty quickly. All right, how do we like that roof shape? And that will have one more layer of slabs over the top. I think it could go up one more. Oh! Why, hello, sir. He came right up to the door. He's got a bucket of puffer fish. And just generally a bunch of stuff that we don't need. Except for maybe the small drip leaf, but we'll wait. We'll wait for that. Gotta prioritize, you know? Are you breaking my fields, sir? Ugh, the nerve. Oh, right. It is off by one. This is... I, I decided on purpose to make it off by one. And now I'm slightly regretting that. It's fine. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Okay. Stairs are probably the worst block in this game to work with, other than rails. Alright, let's take a look at that. Now the question is, does it need a contrasting color around the edge? Does it need to go down another... You know what? You know what? I have, I have, I think... Well, er, Maybe. Um... 
so let's see. There were a bunch of them over here. Yes. So I wanted to add a little bit of color around the edge here. Oh! Oh! I don't want to fall down there. Oh no. No, 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 I do not. Whew. Okay. Well, I'm liking how this is looking. I like how it looks from the ground a lot more than I like how it looks like from straight on. But I guess that is, you know how we look at it. I want to add little pops of mangrove as our light sconces at the door. Okay. I I can get behind that. That's cute. Very cute. Okay. I love how this interior feels already. Um, detailing it is going to be super fun. Like, this is going to feel great. I don't know what I have to detail with, though. Definitely want like boom boom yeah that definitely gives us like extra amounts of shape going on there now we just need a, a little something on the top all right what have we got we've got mangrove fences still and some iron bars and if we did like you know a torch on top instead of like a lantern. I like the idea, but there needs to be more. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. I like that. The last thing I think it needs is some leaf action. And of course, we'll add more garden gardens and fields around. All right, well, now that we've got this all leafed up and looking pretty on the outside, I'm going to go fix my wings and do some things like that and start start tilling the ground around here <laughs> um, and putting in some fields of things. And then I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready to do like the interior details and uh, some like garden kind of details around it and all that good stuff and here my friends is where my brain decided to do a little dumb and not reset my fps from 30 for streaming to 60 for recording so my apologies to your eyeballs in advance but stick around there's there's uh some fun stuff coming Alrighty, friends i have done some thinking about what I want to do in here and I have some ideas but first I actually want to decorate outside um because as you can see I put a little water source in here and I want to put a full like well situation around it if we put a block of copper we get yeah we get eight of those all right Except I shouldn't have done the waxed one because now I have to de-wax it and re-wax it and I don't have wax Oh, hey, that's an advancement. And we'll let them age like one. Obviously, I have planted a lot of fields. Um, here, let's take a quick little flyover look. So this is our field situation now. Eventually, obviously they have kind of abrupt endings at the moment. Eventually I want to at least take it to the edge of the savanna out here and then probably circle it around there. At least we could just bone meal it. Yeah. I forget that, you know, that's a thing you can do with moss instead of taking the ground away and yeah, recovering the whole ground situation with moss. You can just bone meal it and then it will become moss and be nice and pretty anyways. We've got our pink petals and our string for our cherry trees. Which we'll put one... Oh, no, that's not where I meant to put that. I meant to put it there. There we go, boop. We can... Turn it on. And I like that. I like how that looks. That's cute. And then these will weather eventually in their own sweet time. So now we get to the front 
or the the front door kind of it's not the one we're actually gonna approach it from very frequently anyways all right let's see what side oh it's not that one okay what side aha there we go okay that actually looks kind of cute not gonna lie like it overhangs it a little bit and so it kind of looks like a really bushy little tree is growing in it and right now i don't know where the path is gonna lead so we're just gonna gonna leave it for now but this is our view of the house at this point and i think what we need is we need this garden which is a little bigger and therefore a little bit more of a challenge but that's okay because we like a good challenge Oh, we should absolutely be planting some bamboo out in the in the garden. So we're going to have a little waterfall and pond, I think, kind of right in here. Um, let's go ahead and mossify this area too. There we go. And another coral for good luck. Okay. Now I want to get... Oof. I want to get these things out of my inventory. So we're going to go ahead and... There we go. We do that there. Alright. So now we're just going to add more gardeny bits. So like back in here we'll add some bamboos oh they're not gonna let me place them are they we go well sneaky sneak there we go we've got one mushroom no i've had this work before okay yeah so mushrooms will only place at a certain light level so sometimes you gotta get fancy Unfortunately, you can't fudge it with, like, nighttime. Alright, now we're gonna go around and add some bushes. Bushes all over. Now, my very favorite leaf for bushes is birch leaves. Birch leaves are fabulous. Absolutely underrated block. Now, you know, we could do some sort of, like, pathway situation through here, which could be cute. But, like, I don't know about you, I like a nice overgrown area to wander through. Oh, and a tree. We should do a little tree. Like, let's, let's back off and look at it from a distance away. I think a tree could go really nicely there, or maybe slightly off to the side, kind of where from where that bush is. And we're gonna do the now classic tough tree. And then from here, we just build out a few branches. Yeah, cute. It's itty bitty. I like it. I was gonna put a lantern under it, but I kind of like the the shady look it has. As long as like... Yeah, I mean, these barely have block light, but they do have a little bit of block light. You don't scare me, Mr. Zombie. Who am I kidding? Yes, he does scare me. This little corner, this side is just the sunflower patch. It's definitely giving like secret garden overgrown front yard vibes, and... That's exactly what we want. <gasps> yes. Okay. Now I want now I want stones on the ground. How's that looking? I think we need a few more buttons around. And we'll add a little novelty to the tree as well. I think we could use a little bit more and I think even just a lantern on the ground kind of situation is a cute enough thing that we can get away with it there. I feel like the tree needs some sort of like, it needs some sort of swing or birdhouse or something like that. Or maybe just a bird. Uh, we can do that. 
Hello, my friend. Yay! Hello, buddy. <gasps> On my shoulder, look at him! Oh, what a cutie. And then we'll just land right on the birch tree. Hello! And you take a seat! Take a seat! Oh my goodness! Okay, that's actually a perfect spot. Right there. So cute. Oh my goodness. That adds so much life to the tree. Yes! I love it. Alright, well I think this little garden is quite happy then. Ooh, yes, and it doesn't, like, cover up the build very much, but, like, ooh, this is a good angle. Now we turn our attention to the interior. And I'm not going to do a crazy amount, um, partly because I don't have the redstone to deal with that yet, and so I need to integrate that better later. First off, we're going to hang so many, if I can... If I can get to it. So many lanterns at so many different heights. Ah, that is looking lovely. Now. Now we need. To destroy a few pots. Is it possible? To hang big pots. It is. <gasps> oh. Rude. How does that look? Maybe not right along the wall. Maybe hanging out one. Yes. I love it. This is where the magic happens. Oh, yeah. All right. Ah, yes. Yes. I love it. This is, this is a vibe for sure. There we go. That's cute. We will grab a little bit of this. And go shoop shoop. We're gonna grab some paintings. They're gonna be some good ones. I do like the still life one. Like, that's a good one. That seems to be all we're getting. There, anyways. So. That looks really cute. I like that painting. It's a good one. There we go. We'll do the horse one. The horse one's cute, and we like the horse one. Yeah. And then, then when we get, you know, the crafting and sorting system set up, then we'll just basically have a little walk down point. But, like, it's really, really cute, and I love it. I think I can officially say I'm obsessed. I love this. This is exactly what I, I want out of this series, is I want to significantly improve what I'm building and just add the sheer amount of detail that I want. So with this one, I did learn a couple of things. I learned that, like... Having some contrast in your build is really important by having, you know, contrasting colors in your walls like we have here or different layers of depth like we used glass panes in the windows and then the fence gates around the top there with a different highlight color that we used in a couple of spots. Also, when in doubt, add more shapes. And when in doubt, add more stuff. Always more stuff. Stuff is the thing that detail thrives on. Whether it's something like a little burb up in a tree or stones on the ground, stuff is the best way to add just depth and character to a build. Now there's a little something that I would like to do. Before we entirely finish up here, um, I want to try out an ominous trial. I'm still probably gonna be a little bit cautious about it. We don't have any blocks. Oops. Alright. Jungle logs it is, then. And we're gonna drink. The ominous bottle. These have become 
ominous spawners. What on earth is happening there? Oh, interesting. What was that about? Oh, we've got like potions and effects and things going on. Lots of armor, including armor with trims on it. Ooh, I wonder if they'll drop that. I know, like, I know it's kind of cheaty to just sit here and use the bow and arrow, but I also know that I would get overwhelmed real fast and not have fun. Ah, but it is time to deal with these these little, little dudes anyways. Ah, I'm gonna... <laughs> Okay, um, I don't have backup gear, so I'm just gonna have to... Go in over here. And grab my stuff real quick! Yeah. Uh... We do be just running away! Running away! I did not put my chest plate on, so my wings are down there still. There's my sword. There are my wings. Good, 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 good. Jeez, that sword was something else. What is shooting arrows at me? That is what I'm not sure about. Like, what is that? Where are they coming from? Oh. They're just targeting me no matter what. What is that effect? Weaving. What on earth is weaving? Okay. Ooh, nice. Oh, our omen effect is gone because, because we died. Ah, I see how it is. All right, well, let's at least like, you know, break the pots in here. That means we just did those two slime spawners without the... Actually, those slime spawners should reset for the ominous trial. So. If we make ourselves a little bit of a platform, the arrows shouldn't be quite as disastrous for us. All right, let's try this. <laughs> what is this weaving thing? Or no, this isn't weaving. This is something silver fishy. Infested? Am I infested? I like that this is a slime room because one, it drops a lot of resources that I need and two, it is not the worst thing in the world. So like this is a good room to come do ominous trials in. Bro's got a ton of resistance. What the heck? What on earth? When I'm worried about is the breeze because like is he gonna be painful nah just extra difficult extra extra angy i love the breeze i'm not gonna lie they are Woo! Some of my favorite little Angi boys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put those in my ender chest. And maybe we'll move along to the last room then. What is lighting things on fire? Oh, there's fire charges now. Of course there's fire charges now. Did he go away? Ooh, there's an ominous key. Hello, buddy. Hi. Hi, buddy. 
I love how fast and angry they are, though. They're my favorite. That's the ominous one. Alright, let's put that there because I'm terrible at parkour. And then we go boop. Re vaulting. <gasps> ominous vault first ominous vault and we get it Whoop. let me walk instead of crouch <laughs> oh my goodness you guys I can't believe this all right we have done every spawner in this that's going straight into the under chest though what no we got more I will, I will take the slimes. Like, slimes are great and fine and everything. Zombies, not so much. Ooh, nice! If I sit under, great. <laughs> What's that? Wind charged. <gasps> Does that mean I can jump funny? Or, like, really cool? Woof! <gasps> That's another ominous key. Don't mind if I do. Let's see. <gasps> Armor trim! Yeah! Doggos. Well, you wouldn't be alive if there were doggos nearby. <gasps> Never mind! Hello! Oh, so pretty! Oh, that sheep is not alive. I see. I see how it is. All right. All right. I'll leave the other ones here because, you know. All right. Let's grab a couple of these and this heavy core we gotta set it on the floor first and look at it oof that is a sound we can't rotate it at all which is sad i feel like you should be able to can you stick it on a wall oh no it just kind of floats okay that's super cool but we have and we have to craft it like Oh, it's just one. That's why. Okay. Let's try this thing out on some unfortunate cows. Nothing crazy. Just... Oh! That felt powerful. Oh, and it knocked back knocked back a bunch of them. Oops. Okay, this is gonna be fun. We definitely, definitely need to play around with that some more. All right, let's take a last little peek inside. You can see a little little face peeking through the door. We've gone ahead and added bees in here, which means at least for the moment, we have enough wax for our small bits of needs. We also have a little storage spot now for all the output from the farm. So we have our bamboo blocks here, our paper and sugar here, which with the way I set up the redstone, the sugar is um, unavoidable and I will mess with it later. And then our cactus goes in here whenever it, you know, decides to fill up. I learned a lot with this build, which is exactly the point of the series. Um, definitely the most detailed exterior work I've ever done and I am proud of it. And belated thanks to the two patrons on my Patreon. I appreciate you guys so much. And hey, if the rest of you didn't know I have a Patreon, feel free to go check it out. This build's got me really excited for the future of this world. So I'm going to go keep doing some planning. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!